This time around, I thought I'd do a little bit of an offshoot on some presets that I created a while back. They're colorizing presets. And what I wanted to show you, I, I kind of wanted to share is just a little bit of the thought process behind this because it's pretty cool what you can do here. People love presets. One of the reasons that I like presets are that it's like a little mini version for me because in, in the example I'm using here, so I take my saturation and I take the saturation down for a whole bunch of colors inside of here, okay? And I leave the red and the orange saturated. Well, you can create a preset for that, check none, and just turn on um, just turn on your color treatments, any color adjustments that you do, and give it a give it a descriptive name. And now you've got a preset that does this. But not only that, when you create them for all the colors, like I did here, what you've got is a, almost a way to create different versions without actually manually doing it. Because now, as I hover over, look at the navigator panel. I get a preview of what it's going to look like. So I don't even have to go in here and change all the settings to realize I don't like it. Okay. Cause it's a pain. Now I've got to bring these and kind of bring these all back and it's a pain. Here's a keyboard shortcut for you though. Cause you will thank me for this one. If you hold down option key on Mac alt on PC, this turns to reset and you can click on the, the reset button here and it sets them all back to, uh, to all their zero, their zero points over there. So you don't have to go in and manually do it. But the idea is, is, is to do this for all the colors because now you've got this, this whole different creative outlet of, as far as what you can do when you're looking at your photos here. Because now I know eh, yellow's kind of cool. Eh, red's even cooler. You know, I created one before that was red and orange. So there I do colorize red, orange, and you can go through that. You can create all the combinations you want. And you'll find that you'll use different ones for different circumstances. Like in this example here, let's go and let's just kind of bounce through them. So that's kind of interesting. You know, the green one. Orange, not so sure. All right, but just as you hover over it, you can see it. Let's take a look at another one here. This is a good example too of why you might want to uh, create different presets. Because uh, so as we go through here, so colorized purples or colorized blues, kind of neat. You could see the preview here. It kind of just leaves it leaves some color right there. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Orange, red. So red's kind of cool. Here's an example though, where maybe you don't just want to do one, but maybe I bring the orange back up and maybe this, this one is colorized red orange and you typically use it for portraits because you don't want to pull all, all the orange away from the skin tones. So you leave the reds and the oranges with color saturation in them and you just take the saturation away from everything else. Where in the other example with the car, colorized red worked pretty good because we really just wanted to accentuate the reds. But anyway, um, Give this stuff a try. It's pretty cool when you start to go through the panels here and start to create yourself presets for all of the different options that you can see in the panel. Split toning is another one. You know, work on presets that the hue is over here. You know, bring your saturation up to 50%. We've got red. We've got a yellowish color. We've got a greenish color. You can kind of move this all the way to blue, all the way back over to red. But those are good presets to create all the way through, create different versions of each one. And that way, when you come over here, you don't have to be going through all the panels, just hover over it and you'll get a really good preview about what something's going to look like. The other thing is, is you'll often find something you didn't know. Okay. So I think, I think colorized green is kind of cool, although I might never have tried it if I went over to those HSL sliders. So just a couple examples for that. Hope you enjoyed folks. You can go over to lightroomkillertips.com. I'm going to put, I've already released these presets on the website. So I'll just put a link to it there. Um, and of course, click on the presets tab on the right hand side of the screen and you'll be able to download a whole bunch more. Talk to you soon.